Hi, Hi guys. guys. Hello Hi. everyone. Okay, so this is Filippo. Uh, I work for Matthias Inc. I'm here in San Francisco and the reason why we're doing this, we're trying to find different ways to engage clients and you know to fit closer to you in these difficult moments. And so we decided why not a cooking class, right? And so today we're here in San Francisco with Federico, my good friend. Uh, we actually met here in San Francisco, but we're from uh, two different cities in Italy that are very close to each other, Venice and Bologna. And Federico is a restaurant who just recently opened here in uh, San Francisco. And Federico, you want to say something about what you do? Hi everybody, I'm Federico. I'm the owner of Tortellino here. We have a restaurant on Market Street in the Twitter building and today we're gonna make our beautiful tiramisu. It's one of the most iconic dessert in the Italian cuisine. It's one of the best chefs around here. In so. the world, probably. <laughs> we decided to do tiramisu for three main reasons. So first, it's kind of pretty easy to make, right? To Super hard. simple to make. Super simple. Second, it's a very popular dessert in Italy and even in the US it's very well known. And, uh, it's actually my favorite dessert, Italian dessert, so even better, I'm excited to taste it. Things lift you up, right, in Italian? So uh, yeah. in these uh, hard moments, you know, where maybe everything is lower, that where we might feel a little bit down, you know, because of the situation, we need something that's giving us good spirit, good energy, you know, something that's lifting us up. So. Federico, where does the name tiramisu come from? So tiramisu is a very old recipe uh, that uh, we're used to lift up. Tiramisu literally means lift you up because there's a lot of protein as egg yolks and a lot of sugar and caffeine. So with these three ingredients together combined, like boost your, your morning. And um, the legend wants that in the house of pleasure, um, the ladies were cooking this dessert for their customers to lift them up. For make tiramisu, we need very simple ingredients. We're gonna start with fresh, large, organic jumbo eggs, Savoyardi biscuits, heavy cream or whipping cream, chocolate powder, mascarpone cheese, of course, sugar and a good coffee. The first step, we're gonna separate the eggs, the yolk from the white, okay? So we're gonna take our eggs, crack in the middle, and then put the yolks in the bowl of your KitchenAid. So you wanna make sure you're gonna separate very good yolk from white. Here you are. We're gonna use six eggs for a four portion dessert. Then we're gonna add our sugar cane. And I want to add like four spoon of white sugar, cane sugar. Let's say half a big spoon or a, a big, big full spoon. Now you have the sugar and the yolk and you want to start to whip this until the egg is going to turn white and they're going to grow in volume. Now guys, we have reached the volume and the color that we want for our egg yolk. So we're gonna... Beautiful. 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 We're gonna put that part, the egg yolk, like this. Take a look how beautiful it is. Now guys, we're gonna use whipped cream. One cup of whipped cream, it's enough. We're gonna add two spoon of sugar in our whipped cream. And now we're gonna use the food processor and whip it. 
Hey guys, a brief commercial here, like in the real TV. It's so gonna be very quick, one minute, two minutes, no more than that. I just want to introduce some new lines that we came up with with Matthias Singh. Because of COVID-19 and all this weird situation we are, we are on right now, social distancing is a priority, right? You guys will know that it's a priority right now for our society and of course for our company, Matthias Singh, as well. So we decided to come up with new material to ensure the social distancing. The first one, the most recent one, is called Luce. Those are acrylic panels, right? It's like a sandwich. Since we're talking about food, this is a sandwich. It's basically plastic, but it's very sustainable, very light, very durable. It's two layers, two other layers made mostly of acrylic, a core, lightweight layer that's made of polycarbonate mostly. A lot of this comes from recycled material and can be recycled or upcycled. The material that's been very popular last year, our second best seller last year is our Hydra Moss. It's beautiful, wind certified, acoustic, you know, can be used for screens, divider, 24 different colors available. We do have a metal mesh line. We've been selling this for many, many years. And you know, we can offer frames, fixing systems. You see, you can do freestanding panels, screens. We're gonna be sending you more pictures. Please reach out to your regional rep again because we can do really a lot of stuff with this metal mesh. We can put it in glass, within glass, acrylic lamination, glass lamination. A lot of different applications where you can play with lights, you can play with colors. The last material I want to show you is this expanded metal. This is aluminum. It's a new line. We came up with this line in January. It's very light but very durable. Can be used for interior and exterior. You can frame it out and make screens out of it, or you can use it for wall applications. Any color you want. Hope you guys enjoy this brief commercial. So let's keep going with the cooking class. The whipped cream should be ready by now. Thank you guys for listening. Bye-bye. So now we have our whipped cream and this is like the thickness that we want. Very, very thick, organic, fresh whipped cream. Next step guys is working with like Savoyardi biscuits and coffee. So we wanna dump the Savoyardi biscuits in our coffee. We're gonna open them up, okay? At least they do something, right? So you wanna use a big ball to do this. And this is our bowl where we're gonna serve our mascarpone. So everyone has a different secret, but I prefer to do the first layer with Savoyardi. So we're gonna uh, take the Savoyardi biscuits with our gloves and literally like dip all the way down for like three seconds. So the coffee can get in all the way to the biscuits. And then right, right after this, we're gonna place the biscuits here and we're gonna create a layer of Savoyardi. We're gonna create a bed of Savoyardi. A bed of Savoyardi, it must be comfortable. Savoyardi bed. <laughs> we have a beautiful bed of Savoyardi layer and what we're gonna do now is what we call in Italy lo sposalizio, so the marriage. Okay, now guys, we have a perfect bed of Savoyardi, and then we're gonna take care of lo sposalizio, so the marriage in between mascarpone, whipped cream, and whipped egg yolk, okay? We're gonna start with the whipped cream all the way in. We're gonna take care of the mascarpone cheese. It's very important to keep out of the fridge your mascarpone before uh, do your dessert, your tiramisu, in order to have the mascarpone very, very um, soft and avoid like be like so hard and cold from the fridge. We're gonna dump three full spoon of mascarpone inside our mix. Now, we're gonna mix from the bottom to the top, very gently, this beautiful creature that is our cream. From the bottom to the top, gently, we're gonna mix all the three ingredients together. Now, we created a perfect cream of mascarpone. See, it's not too liquid, not too thick. We wanna have the right creamy on our cream of mascarpone. The best thing to do 
is to follow the rules. So now leave it in the fridge, let it rest for at least four or five hours. Now after the fridge, your mascarpone cream is ready to be served on the bed of Savoyardi with coffee. So very carefully. We're gonna literally pull everything like that. See? Beautiful. 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 Here you are. Now, with a spatula, we're gonna flat all the surface of our almost tiramisu. Now, guys, the last part, the very end. We have like the cocoa power, 100% cocoa. And then gently, with the finger, you're gonna let it snow chocolate. <laughs> this is the result. Now we're gonna taste it. Let's taste it, right? Let's taste it. Buon appetito. Buon appetito, guys. Very good. Thank Hi you guys. guys. Thank you, Filippo. And the next recipe. <laughs> Thank you, Federico.